Hello, this is Gary Seal with the TrueKind Consulting Group. I want to talk to you today about digital marketing and some of the things that you can do as a sole practitioner or a small company that's not going to set you back an extremely large amount of money. The first thing that we always hear in the marketplace is that you need to be customer centric regarding the content that you're using and posting. What does that really mean? What it means is, are you actually answering the questions to people's problems? Now, those are the things that people are going to read, remember, and come back to you as a subject matter expert, and that's what exactly you want to be. So you want to use those on your website, in your newsletters, and blogs, things that you're putting out to the public that says, hey, use me, I can be a resource for you. Now what we can do is be more proactive with our content and use that by going out to your market database with newsletters. I use a platform called Constant Contact. You can usually get signed up with several thousand names for about $63 a month. And what that does for you, it allows you to put your links in there, create links so that you can have your customers upload papers and go out and do find videos, things of that nature. Very important proactive thing. You probably will get 20 to 25% opens if you're relevant. And that sort of thing helps you be in your customer's presence all the time without you physically picking up the phone or going out there or even doing the extensive networking that a lot of people feel like they have to do. The other thing, of course, is you constantly need to be prospecting one of the best and most inexpensive tools is LinkedIn. There's a free version. I personally use LinkedIn Navigator. It's about $84 if you do it on a monthly basis. That allows you to further define your market ID criteria and narrow down so you're not marketing or reaching out to the wrong database. That's very important. Something that takes a short amount of time and it's still very important from the standpoint of you being present in the marketplace is doing consistent social media posts. I usually go to LinkedIn, I post to my Google business page, Twitter, and then secondarily Facebook because I'm a B2B person. The other thing that you can do, and it's really not as difficult or as daunting as it sounds, is to have a YouTube channel and create videos. Most of my videos are just one to three minutes long, they're informational, there to serve the customers, but yet that channel is out there and you have that as a record so that you can pull it up and use it at any time in the future. That's really handy. So grab your YouTube channel, start creating, posting, use that in your newsletters. Another thing that you can do is go and make sure that you have a fully built out LinkedIn profile. People are going to look at your LinkedIn profile to see who you are, what you've done, what kind of services you provide. You owe it to yourself to spend a fair amount of time. This is your secondary website. This is your personal website. And it also relates heavily to your business. Now, one of the things that I don't do on a regular basis, but occasionally I do buy Google, LinkedIn, and Facebook ads. Some of the big players in the marketplace use these extensively. They have heavy budgets that allow them to reach out to literally thousands of people and narrow it down to the people who are genuinely interested in their product and your service. Investigate that, get somebody to help you, make sure that you're spending your money wisely. Now the last thing I would recommend as a smaller person is simply Google your business and then Google yourself and see what shows up. You may find some pleasant surprises, you may find some unpleasant surprises, but if you continue to do things I just recommended, you're gonna find yourself popping up in Google search and that's where you want to be found by your prospects. Well, there's a quick laundry list of things that probably cost you less than $200 a month out of pocket. They'll cost you a little bit of time. Those in conjunction with reading the article posted here will be a great start for you to take off with your digital marketing platform. Take care.